Hello and welcome to Trader Talk. I'm your host, Dan Worth, and today I'm joined with Will Gunn from the Sporting Index Cricket Desk. How are you doing today, Will? Yeah, good, thanks, Dan. Yourself? Yeah, really well, thank you. Obviously, there's quite a lot to catch up on in the cricket world, specifically for England. Um, it's kind of all changed, I suppose, for the Test team. Uh, so let's start off by discussing the appointment of Brendan McCullum. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see how he goes. He's, he's got very limited coaching experience in general. I've done a bit of white ball stuff. Seems like he's done OK, but not been pulling up trees or anything. He's got no red ball coaching experience at all. So it's going to be interesting to see how he goes. I think the one positive thing I can take from it is that he's got none of the, the baggage, which a lot of the other coaches have, have come with and experienced as part of the England setup. So hopefully he can breathe a bit of life into the team. And the fact that he hasn't really got any experience won't really matter. Definitely. And I think you hit the nail on the head there when you say uh, England are desperate for that for that fresh uh, breath of fresh air. Uh, it's been quite a dismal period, really, for the England test team. So I guess the sort of new coach uplift will can't really come soon enough for, for the side. Yeah, no, I mean, hopefully we get some kind of new coach bounce, kind of similar to, to you get in football. And it'll, hopefully it'll take the shackles off some of the players and let them play their own way. And and I guess the only way is up from here. So hopefully it will turn out to be a good appointment. Definitely. And, and taking the pressure off can only benefit uh, the squad. Uh, talking of pressure, though, there's no positions with much more pressure than the England captain, um, which has now obviously been given to Ben Stokes uh, from Joe Root. Uh, how do you think he's going to cope with that? Yeah, so my original view was that I wasn't sure whether he was going to be the right fit just because we rely on him so much anyway that maybe the extra pressure might be a little bit too much, especially with the mental health issues he's had and some of the injuries. I worry a little bit that he's such a competitor that he might bowl himself into the ground at times, trying to get his wickets when we're desperate. But the one thing that you can say about Stokes is that he's a fighter and he'll give his all for England. And he's already said that he wants to focus on tests and he's given up the IPL. So if there's ever a man that you can follow the example of on the cricket field, it's Ben Stokes. So hopefully he will that, that will transfer to the rest of the team and they'll kind of follow in his footsteps. Yeah, for sure, mate. It's very hard to disagree with you there. Um, another thing I'm quite interested in is, obviously, now that Joe Root doesn't have the burden of the captaincy, surely that can only positively impact his game? Yeah, I mean, he, he for, for a lot of the time, he actually did all right as uh, as captain with the bat. But I think him returning to number four now, which is agreed with Stokes after a not very successful period at number three, um, should help him. And I mean, if it makes him better not being captain, then he's going to be one hell of a player for, for the rest of his career. So, yeah, hopefully he continues to do well. Definitely. And I think from, from both of us, we, we hope that is the case and that he can kick on. Um, so I guess one of the biggest challenges Stokes is going to have uh, is his sort of squad announcements. We've, we've had the one for the New Zealand test yesterday. Um, what do you make of that? Were there any surprises for you? So, I mean, considering the appointment of McCullum and Rob Key above him, I thought there were going to be a lot more surprises in the squad. It was actually a relatively safe squad um, with a lot of returning faces. The one interesting thing is that they've said that they're going to bat Ollie Pope at number three, who's never batted at number three for Surrey um, and never done it in his career, as far as I'm aware. Um, so... <laughs> I'm interested to see how he goes and he could potentially be in against the new ball against Southie and Bolt, which will be a proper test for him. And I just hope that it's not going to be a detriment to the rest of his career. And hopefully he can bat free, do well, and he can be the answer to the problem that we've been trying to solve basically since Jonathan Trott. Yeah, for sure. And, and it's going to be super interesting, as you say. Um, and whilst we're on the topic, I suppose it makes sense to discuss England's chances overall against New Zealand. Um, as we've mentioned, it's been a dismal period. Can they can they turn that around, you think? Yeah, well, England are obviously significantly better at home than, than they are away. Um, so you don't want to read too much into some of the dismal away performances in Australia. But I, I was very surprised to see England as favourites for the first test, considering that the, the Kiwis are one of the best sides in the world. Got an unbelievable bowling attack. We've got so many questions about a lot of our batting order. We've got lots of bowlers injured. Um, so I was a little surprised to see England as favourites for the first test, but hopefully um, <clears throat> hopefully that will prove to be right. Yeah, for sure. And, and then finally, then I, uh, one of the surprises for me, well, not necessarily surprises, but is the inclusion of uh, Jimmy Anderson. Um, a lot of people saying, you know, has he still got it? Uh, what's your view on that? 
Yeah, I mean, his, his performances for Lancashire so far in the county championship this season and he bowled an amazing ball to get rid of Joe Root in, in a game either last week or the week before. So he's definitely still got it and it'll be good to see him and Broad back in action together, um, back playing for England where they belong. Definitely, mate. I completely agree with you. Well, that's it for today then, Will. Thanks very much for joining me. Um, for everyone out there, if you are betting, please do so responsibly. Um, that's it. Thanks very much. Cheers.